This is a South American rattlesnake, Crotalus dorissus terrificus. Here's a close view while we get ready to see the extraction. These snakes have a small head and neck and a large body. They can thrash around and injure themselves. So we use this tubing technique that you see Jim doing here to restrain the snake's body. This makes it safer for the snake and for Jim. And then once they are in the tube, he sends them out the far side like this in order to safely be able to grasp the head. From there, he can take them to the funnel and allow them to bite for the extraction. You may notice this snake has very white venom, indicative of a high neurotoxin content. Here's another view of how the snake comes out the far end of the tube, just a little bit closer so I think you can see it a little bit better. We like this technique, and it really does keep the snake safer, but there are some things you have to watch out for. Here the snake has doubled back in the tube. This wouldn't happen under normal medical use of tubes because you would choose one that's too small for the snake to crawl all the way through. But when they have to come through, as in the case for extraction, it creates this situation where they can turn back, and you really do have to be careful about that. Here's a few more shots to wrap up of the snakes actually biting the funnel, where you can see the venom coming out. This one is a little more yellow than that one earlier in the video. And here's one that's a little bit reluctant to actually bite, which does happen sometimes. But then it does give some. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and have a great day.